Grade 5 Math number 7.5. Compare factors and products of fractions. When a fraction is multiplied by a whole number, the product will be larger than the fraction or equal to it if it's 1. When we multiply a fraction to a fraction, the product will be smaller than that fraction. I'll show you how. If we multiply a fraction by a whole number, like 2 thirds, of 1, which means 2 thirds times 1, it's going to be equal to the 2 thirds. 2 thirds of 1 is 2 thirds, so now it's equal. If we do 2 thirds of 3, which is 2 thirds times 3, that's the same thing. Think of the multiplication sign as the word of. Because we're using a whole number 3, it's going to be larger than the 2 thirds. See? If we took this one and this one and filled in here and here, we'd have two full bars, see? It would equal two whole, because it's six-thirds, which is equal to two whole. We're just putting this one and this one here and here and making two complete bars. So that's more than the two-thirds, see? So when we multiply a fraction by a whole number, it's going to be more than that fraction. But if we multiply a fraction by a fraction, Half of two-thirds, here's the two-thirds, if we take half of it, that's smaller than the two-thirds. One-third is smaller than two-thirds, see? So remember, when we multiply a fraction by a fraction, one-fourth of four-eighths is like saying one-fourth times four-eighths. Here's four-eighths, and if we took one-fourth of it, we would have one-eighth, see? One-eighth is smaller than four-eighths. Anytime you multiply a fraction by a fraction, it's going to be smaller than that fraction. Anytime you, you multiply a fraction by a whole number, it's going to be bigger than that fraction. Now, we used models to show us. We can also use a number line to show us that. If we have 2 times 2 thirds, that means we have 2 thirds 2 times. 1 time, 2 times. See? These are split into thirds. Here's 1 2 -third. And then we go, boom, boom, there's another two-thirds. We get one and one-third. Multiplying by a whole number gives us an, a product that's bigger than that fraction. Multiplying by a fraction, if we have two-thirds right here, and we want one-fourth of it, we take this area right here, and we split it into four parts. One-third is half, so it was easy to draw another little line here and another little line here. Well, if we're drawing lines in between each third, I drew one here, so I would have my denominator, see? So one-fourth of the two-thirds, now it's split into four pieces, one, two, three, four, that would be right here. This is one-fourth of the two-thirds. It's one of the four pieces. But how much is it as a fraction? Well, if you counted all of these little pieces, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got 1 sixth as our answer. So multiplying a fraction by a fraction, we ended up with a smaller amount than the 2 thirds. See? It's smaller than our fraction. 1 sixth is smaller than 2 thirds. So let's take a look at these. If I multiplied 7 eighths times 2, do you think it'll be bigger, smaller, or equal to the 7 eighths? Well, if you said that this is going to be larger than the fraction, you're right. What about this one? What if we multiplied 1 third times 2 fifths? Which one is going to be bigger? This or the fraction? If you said this fraction is bigger, you're right, because when we multiply a fraction by a fraction, it's smaller than that fraction, remember? How about this one, 1 times 1 fourth? Is it going to be less than, greater than, or equal to? Well, if you remember that when you multiply something by 1, it stays the same, and you said equal, then you were right. How about this one, 3 sevenths times 4 fifths? Is this, going to be, is this product going to be bigger? smaller or equal to four-fifths. Remember, fraction times fraction, it's going to be smaller. The four-fifths is going to be bigger. How about five times three-tenths? Which is going to be bigger, the five times three-tenths or the three-tenths? 
Remember, you multiply it by a whole number, it's bigger than the fraction. So if you said it's greater than, you're right. So just remember, when you multiply a whole number by a fraction, it's going to be bigger than that fraction. And when you multiply a fraction by a fraction, it's going to be smaller than that fraction. That way, when you're doing your fraction multiplication, and you see that it's the, something is wrong, like it's doing the opposite, like you multiplied a fraction by a fraction, but you got a whole number, you know you did something wrong. See? So if you remember this rule, you'll be able to catch a mistake before you turn your homework in or before you answer a test and leave it that way. See? It'll be a heads up or a red flag that something's wrong with your answer. Isn't this good to know? I'll see you next video. Bye.